so the most important thing that you need to remember is in the opening you have to uh, you have to make sure that you you perform the opening tactics correctly and once you have done the opening correctly then we will be able to see the middle game and the middle game strategies and the end game strategies okay is that understood ah okay uh, the, the opening principles are you have to make sure that you have to maneuver your knights you have to maneuver in the sense you have to move your knights to the proper square and uh, then another thing is here you are able to see 1 to 4 right 1 to 4 1 to 4 and 5 to 8 here 1 to 4 is the white army camp and 5 to 8 is the black army camp okay here the most important thing is you have to make sure that you protect your territory first the 1 to 4 and then you could attack uh, uh, into the opponent's army camp okay mm. uh, that that's one more thing that you need to remember and another thing uh, regarding the opening principles develop develop your uh, see wait 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 do not play wait wait here you have that uh, teams uh, uh, the 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 tab over there right teams.microsoft.com can you just move it uh, along towards the right so that i would be able to see the time hi uh, either you could hide or uh, you, uh, okay well, which one so here wait wait do not play wait here the you are able to see the seconds running for you okay Uh, we have a game of uh, total of about half an hour each and uh, the half an hour each is called as the rapid format of the game i uh, will teach you about the bullet and the blitz format later now in this half an hour format of the game you have about half an hour time and uh, the opponent from mm -hmm. philippine uh, he, he has a nickname or so which is of chaos uh, he has about uh, uh, let's say half an hour or so while you think your timer runs up and after you have played the move this timer runs up okay here the 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 line of control the line of control the four five, the fourth rank and the fifth rank you could either call it as the fourth row and the fifth row or you could call it as the fourth rank and uh, uh, the fifth rank as you wish okay that's the line of control uh, line of control in the sense the uh, each and every country has a boundary or so right the same way here the fourth rank is uh, fourth rank is your boundary Fourth rank, yeah. uh, fifth rank is this boundary. Okay. Now, uh, the opening regarding the opening principle. Once you move, uh, move a warrior. You have moved your uh, knight, right? Before, before you start, I wanted to tell you a small story. I will make it short as you, as you, uh, as you, uh, your time is running out. So, the what the story is? You are able to see the king, right? King and yeah. wait, wait, do not, do not play, wait. King on e1. Uh, the square the name of the square is called e1 in the sense you have e over there that's the e that's the that's the complete e column or the e rank and uh, the first row there are total of about eight rows or eight ranks from 1 to 8 you are able to see that right yeah okay now the thing is when you have the king over, before the, the before you start the game the initial position or the starting position each and every warrior would be protected by another warrior that's beside him uh, in the sense the king is supporting the bishop and uh, the rook is supporting the knight the same way the queen is supporting the bishop on c1 the rook is supporting the bishop on uh, the knight on b1 and the same way the, you you could able to see the third rank is being protected by the pawns over from the second rank and the same way the knights are protecting the uh, third rank uh, let's say the square c3 and a3 are you able to understand this yes okay the same way you have to maneuver your knights the maneuver your knights and the other warriors you have to make sure when you place your knight on a square or a bishop on a square it's being protected by another warrior that's how you have to maneuver your pieces towards maneuver your warriors towards the opponent's king okay once uh, regarding the opening principle once you have moved the knight once you shouldn't move the knight over again you have to you have to make sure that you complete the opening the com you uh, the complete the opening in the sense now you have opened up the king side you have to play bishop to 
G2. The most important thing in chess is the next move. So you have to make sure that you 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 think well before you move. Think well in the sense the, your your opponent makes a move. Uh, okay, you could play bishop G2, bishop to G2. Yeah, now let him play a move. And after he has played that move, you have to make sure that you think what's the purpose of he making that move. That's the most important thing in chess. Once your opponent makes a move, you have to make sure you think on what uh, what's the purpose the move has been made. And then make your move. Is that understood? Yes. Okay, and another thing regarding each and every warrior being supported by another warrior, that concept is called as the undefended warrior concept. Okay, the each and every warrior being supported by another warrior. Here, the rook is being supported by the bishop on g2, but the knight over d4 is, is undefended. Undefended in the sense the knight is not being supported uh, by uh, supported uh, with any any other warrior over there. So the opening, how does the opening principle start? Uh, start uh, uh, when does the opening complete? Is you have to you, you know you know what the castling is. What? Uh, it's called okay. Taking your king towards uh, uh, protecting your king, taking your king safely to a another square that's called as castling okay over so, here i will teach you what the castling is click uh, in either way you could make a move one is you could either drop do not play wait i will teach you what castling is and then uh, you could play here uh, you, you could you this is the this is the one special move where you will be able to move your king uh, uh, two squares okay uh, apart from a square you could uh, uh, in in other uh, in, in, wherever the game is you will be able to move your king to a single square only but only in this special move you will be able to move your king to another square over the right you will be able to see the symbols um, along with the text representation of the notations uh, that you are playing the notation uh, uh, the, no, the notation is how uh, uh, to analyze the game, even after uh, yeah, even after a couple of years or two, you could analyze your game. That's how a notation works. So I'll teach you the notations later. Uh, here, the, what uh, castling is to protect your king, to make take your king to safety and connect your rook. That's what uh, castling is called. Uh, you, you could play a, play in either ways, whichever. Wait, 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 wait. Do not click on anything. Wait. There is a touch piece move rule. What the touch piece move rule states is while you play over the classical format, while you play over uh, directly, you need to think well before you touch a warrior. And once you touch a warrior, you have to, that's the touch piece, touch piece rule, and uh, you have to play that warrior only. You can't play any other warrior. So think before you touch. And after you touch, you have to play that only. So here, here there are two ways where you could uh, play uh, play the game. Two ways in the sense, one is you could either drag and drop the warrior over a perfect square which you prefer. And another way is either you could click on the warrior that you want to play and wait, wait, do not play, wait. wait uh, click on the warrior you want to play and uh, then click on the square where you want to place the warrior. So I will teach you now what what the castling is. Now we are about to castle over the king side. Okay, click on the king on e1 and click on the g1 square. Or whichever is no no not the rook king. Click on the king. Click on the king. Either drag and drop it over the g1 square or click on the g1 square again. G1 square. G1 not the rook. G1 square. Yeah. Now this is called as castling. And it is denoted by O dash O. O dash O in the sense you are cancelling over the king side. So when you cancel over the queen side, it's denoted by another O. O dash O dash O. You will see the queen side castlings too. But remember that this is the special move where you will be able to move your king apart from a square. Is that understood? Yes. There are several principles of castling. We will see that. One by one, we will see that uh, one by one. 
now this is called as a pin okay now if you try to move your knight you won't be able to move your knight this is called as the absolute pin okay there are two types of pins one is the absolute pin and the another one is the relative pin now he is trying to pin your knight to the king so you could you could just try to move your knight and then move your knight on d4 to any other square you won't be able to move you could try you could try to try to move that to any other square yeah it cannot mm, click on the uh, click on any square that the knight may possibly go if you click on any square that uh, click on just click on i clicked on a square ah uh, so that's called as the absolute pin okay here you won't be able to move when there are there are two pins and in the absolute pin when you play in the online format you won't be able to move the king but you while you play in the over the board classical format if you make such a move that move is called as an illegal move and once you make two illegal moves uh, uh, we would say the game is over and uh, uh, the game is over and the opponent uh, wins that game okay now whenever there is a pin you have to make sure that you remove the pin first uh, uh, how do we remove the pin over here you could play e3 pawn to e3 pawn to e3 start to move the pawn to e3 yeah yeah move the pawn to e3 now you have uh, removed the pin and now you will be able to move your move or maneuver your knight wherever possible okay is that understood okay Okay, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Now I'll teach you first, and uh, then uh, the next one you could play on your own. Just a single game, I'll teach you, and uh, the next one you could play. I'll uh, just uh, teach you the principles, and then uh, you could make your uh, moves on your own. Now over here, uh, you have to maneuver your other knights over there. What uh, you have another knight, and you have another bishop. You have to maneuver that. So what should I do? Move mm, your knight to c c c3. The knight of. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you when the opening is complete. Okay. Then we will see the middle game strategies. Once once you maneuver both the knights and your bishop, and after you connect the uh, after you connect you could. Uh, after you connect the uh, connect the rooks the opening is almost over so what can i do teacher okay now you could play a3 or you could play intermediate intermediate moves too there are a few intermediate moves too over here intermediate moves in the sense you could uh, perform a check and uh, leave back and then play your move now a3 would be fine just a second and uh, my dogs are continuously barking just a second
Okay, now it's your move right. Can we start attacking over? Uh, Kisha, can, 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 you could play B4. B4. Pawn to B4. Pawn, pawn to B4. The pawn on B2, the pawn on B2 took B4. You understood the, you understood the notations of the squares, right? Yeah. The pawn is on B2, which they do not denote the pawn by the letter P. And uh, the another thing I wanted to uh, let you know is, even when there is a checkmate, the king would remain over the board. So, but uh, the, not for the other warriors. The queen is, uh, the king is the strongest warrior over board and uh, we try to protect and safeguard our king. But the other thing is, here, the queen has about, if you want, you could write it down or else if you remember that, the, that's fine. How do you want to proceed? Uh, I'll just remember. Okay, fine. Uh, the queen has about nine points and the rook has about five points. And the bishop and the knight has about three points. Will you remember that? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, and the pawn has about a single point. Okay. Now uh, we are getting into towards the middle game. So before we move completely into the middle game, I want you to maneuver your bishop to d2. The bishop, bishop on d2. d2. Now um, e, e2 has cancelled and you could see the notations over there. It's O dash O. Or you could either call it as 0 dash as you wish. Now we both have cancelled over the same size. Now uh, it's uh, uh, now, now we are into the middle game. As we have maneuvered, uh, maneuvered our knights and bishop and we have cancelled. Now while, while you move into the middle game, we have to make sure that we are able to uh, we are able to create a open rank or a semi-open rank. I'll let you know on what is a open rank and what is a semi-open rank as we proceed. Okay. Uh, okay. Place, your, place your knight uh, place your knight on C3 to B5. Okay. Not D5, B5. Uh, yeah, B for ball, B5. Now what we are trying to do is we are getting into the middle game. We are trying to maneuver our knights and uh, what what a open rank or a open file is called as a rank uh, here. A is a rank. From A to H, each and every one is a rank. Every one is a rank. Okay. A is a rank. B is a rank. C, D, E, F, G, H. Everything is a rank. A rank, a rank where you do not have pawns on both the ends is called as a open rank. Is that understood? Hmm. Okay, we'll see. Let him play and uh, we'll see. Now, okay. we, we are trying to create a semi-open rank. Semi-open rank in the sense, try to, uh, try to take out the bishop on d6 with your knight. Try to, kill, try to kill the bishop on C, D, D6 with your knight. Not that knight, then other knight over uh, B5. Okay, now the knight is maneuvered to D6. He is not trying us to uh, create a open track. If as uh, open or a semi open track. As he has, uh, as he has uh, traded with the queen, uh, okay, we could play C. Okay, wait just a second, I'll let you know. We'll play a waiting move. Uh, knight to b5. At uh, tempo gaining move, trying to attack uh, the queen on d6. Whichever move attacks the opponent's uh, warrior is a tempo gaining move. You, the, those moves would be good. Okay, knight to b5. Uh, put the what to b5? Mm, yeah, knight to b5. Okay. 
Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm watching that. Now, now these kind of moves are called as tempo gaining moves. Tempo gaining moves will uh, try to get you into the opponent's seat. Uh, try to get you into the driver's seat, where you will be able to decide the move that the opponent is able to play. The opponent would uh, play. Okay, mm -hmm. the, those are called as tempo gaining moves. Now. As uh, now we have an attack over our knight, okay. So we could either maneuver maneuver our knight, or else we could defend our knight, okay. Now we are going to defend our knight. Defend our knight in the sense, uh, how how to defend our knight? You could play queen to e two. Now what we are trying to do is our knight is being attacked and we are trying to defend our knight. Our knight is being attacked twice and our knight is being attacked again. So we have to we have to maneuver maneuver our knight again. Okay. Okay. How do we maneuver our knight again? We could maneuver our knight to d4. So the knight can move backwards. Yeah, only only pawn will not be able to move uh, front and back. So you have to make sure you, uh, you have to be more cautious while moving a pawn either front or back. Um, rather than other warriors, you have to be double sure uh, to move your knights either towards the front or the uh, back. Okay, uh, you, you could uh, maneuver all your warriors uh, towards uh, back and forth. Uh, you could ma maneuver all your warriors back and forth. But uh, regarding the pawns, oh, you, you, you would be able to move the pawns only forward. Actually, initially when the game uh, started, uh, the, the first move pawn would be able to move a single square. And later on, it promoted to it. it, it uh, later, they changed the rules and uh, it got promoted to two squares over the board. You could maneuver the knight to two squares. That's how uh, it changed. Okay. 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 Now uh, we'll try to play another uh, tempo gaining move. Okay, and uh, we could play. What we could play is. Um, um, Right, let us think and uh, play. And I uh, could, uh, we could play. We could play C four. Uh, so which one to see for? Pawn to, to see for. We have an attack over our knight, but the knight is uh, the knight over here uh, is well defended by both the bishop and the pawn. So no worries. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you, if the the opponent wants to trade, he could trade the knight. If he trades, he could we could uh, trade it again with our bishop, and uh, we could attack his queen. We gain a tempo over there. So uh, we see he he is trying to attack our knight, but we do not uh, we do not consider as a uh, threat or so. We do not consider as a consider it as a big threat, and we just play a move. Okay, trade it with our queen. Queen c4. Queen to c4.
All the pawns, so here got the same number. Sorry, I don't get you. What? We are equal. Uh, actually, uh, we are equal. Now, uh, what we are trying, not now, what we are trying, not, now what we are going to do is, we have we have placed the queen to we have placed the queen to attack. Uh, uh, we, we traded the traded the pawns. Now we have to make sure we are up by the position. Okay, how do we get up by the position? Now, we have two attackers over the e6 square, but we have only a single defender over the e6 square. Okay, here we have a pawn over e6. Everything is same initially. How do we uh, how do we gain an advantage over uh, over the opponent by gaining the other warriors, whichever is possible? Now play knight to e6. Now we have gained this pawn. Okay. Even if we trade that bishop, we could uh, uh, trade it again with the queen. And uh, what we are trying to do is we are we are trying to get an advantage over the opponent. Now we are up by a pawn. Okay. Uh, when uh, uh, what you what's another thing that you need to do is you have to make sure that. You convert that advantage or a positional uh, positional advantage into a into a victory into a checkmate. Okay. So That's how what, to... Yeah, the, you will see that. You will see that. Do not play those. Think well on what can be played uh, played again. What what the opponent can play. What are the possible moves for the opponent? And now we are we are low on time, right? You have to think it that way. What are the possible moves that the opponent can play? Possible move. I thought of one. The possible move that um, the opponent can play is like yeah. the What's opponent that? can try to beat us, like. Do a trade. Yeah, do a trade of. Do a trade of okay, do a trade of what? Okay, now he is trying to trade and wait, wait, do not play. Now he is trying to trade the trade the knight. Trade the knight for a knight. Okay. You could either trade over here or else deny the trade and uh, man maneuver your knight to a another proper square too. That's our wish. Okay. Uh, here we will try to maneuver, maneuver our knight to a, um, to, to, to a uh, much suitable uh, square that we need. Okay. We will maneuver. Uh, what we will do is we will maneuver our knight to g5. Play your knight to g5. g5. Yeah. Um. The okay. Now, now what we will do? What we will do is we will place a place a check on f7. F7. So um, wait, 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 wait. We could play a counter-attacking move too. Uh, what we will do? We will play what uh, counter-attacking move is? Okay, uh, we will we'll try to set in a trap. Play bishop to b4. Bishop to b4. Bishop to d4. D4. Not that, not that bishop, not the, another bishop. Another bishop to d4. We are counter attacking his queen. 
he is attacking uh, our queen and we are counter attacking uh, we are trying to counter attack his queen okay uh, trade is queen so can i do trade is queen trade is queen with the bishop Oh. Okay. Now, now uh, uh, move the move the rook on f1 to c1. The who to f1. Move the rook on f1 to c1. F1 to c1. 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 Trying to counter attack his bishop. So now what shall we do? Now try to play. Uh, now try to play. Um, bishop to b7. Bishop to b7. Yeah, you have another, another bishop to b7. Now take now take out your uh, now take out the bishop with the rook rook c4 rook to c4 rook to c4 yeah now I will teach you a checkmate that's called as a smothered checkmate when you perform a checkmate with the knight that's called as a smothered checkmate now we have made a few sacrifice we are down by a knight and a rook but we are performing the checkmate the first bullet point the first uh, uh, to capture the opponent's king place the uh, place your knight on f7 place your knight to f7 and that is a checkmate f7 yeah over there this is called as a smothered checkmate okay now uh, there are a few things uh, uh, you played uh, the name of the there are several openings and uh, before before that uh, there you have uh, before uh, on, uh, uh, on your uh, right hand side screen you have a thumbs up right you have a thumbs up button right below below that below that below that you have a thumbs up below that uh, yeah click on that click on that each and uh, uh, say good game and uh, click on add friend so you will have a friend from philippines uh, that's a good sportsmanship you could remember this checkmate whenever you perform a checkmate uh, the checkmate is performed by a killer knight okay mm -hmm. and uh, this checkmate is called as a smothered checkmate when you perform a checkmate with the uh, killer knight it's called as a smothered checkmate okay oh. you could uh, remember that okay uh, if you 